do you know there's a trend towards hardy tropical exotic looking plants in our UK gardens and I'm sure it's something to do with the fact that even in the coldest winteriest bitter spring weather let alone winter weather we can look outside and be transported to sunnier warmer places where there's the sky is blue the sea is blue there's pina coladas and I'm transformed to that and within an instant I kind of go into a, a different way of thinking I almost can put my shorts and t-shirt on just like that it works so come with us now for the next few minutes as we explore our top five favorite hardy tropical plants and palm trees that we could grow here in the UK to bring a hint of the Mediterranean or even the Caribbean give me that pina colada um, to your own garden here in the UK or other cold uh, coolish climates well welcome to our top five hardy exotic plants and palm trees. Notice that we put hardy in inverted commas there because not all of these plants are fully hardy but they will all give us that hint of uh, something tropical and exotic. They will remind us of happy days down the beach. Um, and whenever I look at um, palm fronds, I am transported back down to uh, back down to the beach where I could walk along with kicking the sand around and uh, looking up to the palm trees and looking at the blue water and I do that and create magic memories in my own garden here at home in uh, in South Wales a few plants now that aren't in our top five but are worth considering if you want the exotic look one of those would be the red leaf banana Enset morellii beautiful but does need some frost protection over winter the green banana much hardier here uh, with these lovely kind of green glow that you get underneath the um, these huge banana leaves that's a Japanese banana Musa Bazjo which uh, we leave outside and it's it's okay in fairly cold weather and you do get the occasional exotic flower like that maybe some protection over winter if it's really cold talking of exotic flowers this is quite a hardy shrub uh, this is the uh, bottle brush shrub or the bottle brush tree uh, Calestamon uh, rigidus beautiful um, exotic pinky red flowers in in summer delightful to look at also delightful to look at and almost made it into the top five but only because it's not quite hardy enough to leave outside without protection is this lovely tree fern that's one in our garden there we have to protect the, the the crown of the plant so that these lovely shoots in the in the crown are protected over winter and then you get these lovely kind of uh, gracefully arching stems of, of light foliage like this in the summer Okay, let's move on now then to the official Roger Crook's top five hardy exotic plants for uh, the UK and other cooler temperatures. Uh, we're going to start off not with that palm tree in the background, but with this yucca, this yellow and green striped architectural bushy little shrub uh, is yucca actually this one is called filamentosa because you can see those little filaments those little fibers that kind of curl along the side of the um of, of the leaves and then occasionally once every few years you can get exotic flowers like this isn't that gorgeous uh, there is another type of yucca which we can grow in our garden here here it is here just on the other side of the palm tree this is yucca gloriosa uh, with a quite a sharp point on those leaves so so be careful but you can also get exotic looking flowers on those and these yuccas get quite tall that one's about five or six foot high you can get variegated forms of the uh, yucca gloriosa not quite so hardy but lovely um, summer flowers as well moving on then to uh, number four out of our five this is Fatsia japonica which has lovely glossy leaves very very bushy growing ours gets to, has got to about five or six foot high and then in late summer you get this enormous kind of eruption from the center of the plant that bursts open to, to produce these these clusters of uh, white flowers that explode then really in early winter we, we see these um, bursting into flower you can get some variegated forms this one is a lovely one called spider's web again not quite so hardy as the plain the plain green 
Let's move on to number three then in our hit parade of tropical plants. These are the formiums which come in different shapes and colors and sizes. Um, exotic looking leaves, very strappy uh, leaves, ace, um, gracefully arching branches on that one in our garden a few years ago. You can get them in reds and this is a lovely one down in uh, the city centre in Swansea, not far from us here in South Wales. Um, and you can as well get these, um, these exotic looking flowers on long spikes above that um, gracefully arching foliage. So that's formiums. Let's move on, so wave goodbye to the yucca and look at number two in our top five. Uh, and that is probably the hardiest of all the exotic plants. Well, it is in our garden. This is Trachycarpus uh, fortunii, uh, the chosen palm. And uh, it looks great any time of the year, in the summer, in the spring here with the, uh, the daffodils, and even in the deepest, darkest winter, there we are with snow on it. Um, this, this tree can reputedly take temperatures as low as minus 15. It certainly had minus 10, minus 12 in our garden, but always has this lovely kind of um, mottled shade created by these overlapping fronds of the, um, the palmate leaves there that um, you know it's the one true palm actually that we got in our garden as well as the lovely foliage you can get um, clusters of bright orangey yellow flowers uh, in the summer which are followed by clusters of seeds and you can with patience raise your own little seedlings from those seeds so there he is, our, our, our number two in the hip parade of, uh, of our exotic plants. And now we're going to go along and have a look at number one in, the, in our charts, walking past the tree fern there. Wow, look at that. This explosion of foliage that you get at the, at the top of the, the, um, the trunk of a cordyline australis, also known as the Torbay palm, and those ones there, that forest of cordylines there is down in Torbay. But also they'll grow um, further north and in shade there, uh, up in North Wales, um, in Port Marion. Um, looking beautiful and graceful but it's not just the foliage with these uh, with these plants this one here in the school garden which is about 10 years old most years will produce here we are a big bunch of flowers vivid white flowers with a lovely perfume and loved by the um, the bees and after those um, perfumed flowers you will get seeds as well and those seeds can pop up uh, with baby plants in all sorts of funny places so this pot is on our patio and that's a cordyline seedling there that has i assume been dropped either by the wind or by a bird from the parent tree there which was in flower the year before and a seed dropped into this gravel into this little alpine um, uh, pot that we've got here and there we have got a lovely seedling to transplant into a larger pot these cordylines do great in pots they've been in those pots for about five or six years um, they also do okay over the winter depending on how cold it is that one there was fine we just cut off those leaves and it shot into new growth the following year um, if it goes down to I would say below minus five something like that for more than a day or two you will need to protect them to some measure but if the worst happens and it gets frosted back in a cold winter like this one here, don't worry, don't give up on it because look, look what happens. Um, after a few years, they store so much energy in the roots that they will shoot and start a new tree which might end up looking like this. Multi-stemmed, huge monster of a tree and you can see that they're all raring to go with lots of dormant buds and little baby shoots all along the stem. So you can cut it back uh, to the a size that you want if you want to and it'll just shoot again. Uh, from from the uh, from the base you can cut and start again you can also get these beautiful graceful variegated um, quarter lines as well not quite so hardy as the um, as the green and very popular in pots would be um, cord lines like this one. I think that's probably Red Star, which be look beautiful, but again, not quite so hardy compared to that green one in the, in the background. So there we go. That's our number one uh, most popular uh, and easy to grow um, exotic looking plants. Not quite a true palm tree, but it looks like a palm tree to me. So I'm happy to call it a palm tree. That's the cord line palm. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for uh, subscribing. Thank you for all your comments and enjoy your garden.